what's going on guys and in this video i'm going to be teaching you the building blocks of life now this is one of the lessons that i've taken in quarter one and i still remember the whole thing so i decided to put it together to good use by the way we finished quarter one already we're about to enter quarter two in the next week or two so this is what i still remember anyway so let's get into this video Organic chemistry. So the element carbon is a component of almost all biological molecules. Carbon has four electrons in its outermost energy level. And one carbon atom can f form four co covalent bonds with other atoms. As you can see, this is what the organic chemistry look like. It has the O2, NH2, H3C, and stuff like that. This is what it looks like, the organic chemistry. And this is also what organic chemistry look like. CH3, OH, O2N, and so on. This is what it looks like here. <coughs> carbon atoms and compounds. Now, carbon compounds can be in the shape of straight chains, branch chains, and rings. Carbon atoms can be joined to form carbon molecules. As you can see, this is what the atoms look like. This big red circle in the middle and the other blue circles on the outside, which is connected. Macromolecules. Macromolecules are large molecules formed by joining smaller organic molecules together. Basically, this is what macromolecules look like. Not sure that much about it, but but this is what it looks like polymers 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 are molecules made from repeating units of identical or nearly identical compounds linked together by a series of covalent bonds basically this is what polymers look like it's pretty interesting honestly carbohydrates so carbohydrates are compounds composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in a ratio of one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms for each carbon atom. Longer carbohydrate molecules are called polysaccharides. Basically, this is what carbohydrates look like in those atoms or compounds or whatever. And this is the type of foods that have carbohydrates. So basically, bread, rice, pasta, potatoes, muffins, and, and more. This is the type of foods that have carbohydrates, sometimes even honey too, as you can see in one of the photos. Lipids. Lipids are molecules made mostly of carbon and hydrogen. And lipids that have tail chains with only single bonds between the carbon atoms are called saturated fats. Basically, this is what lipids look like. And also, this is the type of foods that have lipids. For example, salmon, avocados, seeds and nuts, and oil. This is what it looks like here. This is the type of foods that have lipids. And proteins. A protein is a compound made of small carbon compounds called amino acids. Amino acids, sorry. You know, I kind of get confused because, you know, because the I and the O is near each other. And this is the type of foods that have protein. The type of foods like fish or salmon, sausages, red meat, white meat, eggs, and sometimes Swiss cheese, even milk as well. Those are the type of foods that have protein. Amino acids. Amino acids are small compounds that are made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, and sometimes sulfur. And amino acids have essential carbon atoms. So basically, this is what the amino acids look like has the red the <coughs> regular blue has the that sky blue balls and the gray ones outside 
thank you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that was me teaching you guys the building blocks of matter this is another one of the lessons that i've taken in quarter one hopefully in quarter two we'll take even more cooler lessons because you know i'm interested in so many things and that would be great anyway so if you like this video please leave a like that'd be really great if you do so and i will see you guys again in the next video i will try to make more lessons on on biology if i can or science as well Alrighty, peace.